Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. We have here today a new Samsung mid-ranger, the Galaxy A53 5G. Let's go over its key features and see what it's all about. Last year's Galaxy A52 and A52s were really popular, and the new model looks to follow that same formula. Not a whole lot has changed here. The A53 5G brings a pastel colored design similar to what we've seen before from Samsung, with the camera bump blending into the plastic back panel. You again get IP67 rated water and dust proofing too. The main upgrade is that the battery capacity has increased from 4500 mAh to 5000, but the phone doesn't seem that much thicker or heftier for it. Charging speed hasn't changed, there's support for up to 25 watts, and some markets still get a charger in the box. That wasn't the case for us though. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and the Galaxy A53 features the same 6.5 inch AMOLED display we enjoyed last year. There's a 1080p resolution and a fast 120Hz refresh rate. You also get stereo speakers for your audio, but for some reason no headphone jack, which last year's models did have. Besides the battery capacity, the Galaxy A53 also brings a new chipset. It features an Exynos 1280, which provides 5G connectivity and solid mid-range level performance. We still have to test it out, but we expect it to be more powerful than the Snapdragon 750G in the original Galaxy A52 5G. It should be comparable to the Galaxy A52S's Snapdragon 778G. The A53's interface is the latest One UI 4.1 over Android 12. It's just as feature-packed as on other Samsung devices, and Samsung promises four generations of One UI and Android OS upgrades, and five years of security updates. The cameras of the A53 5G are the same as last year. There's a 64 megapixel main cam, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro cam, and a depth sensor. Even though the cameras haven't changed, Samsung claims to have improved the image quality by polishing the processing, particularly in areas such as portrait mode. So there you have it guys, the Galaxy A53 5G should bring better battery life than last year and lengthy software support. I'm not sure why they cut the headphone jack though. Let us know what you guys think, and I'll see you soon with our full review.